Welcome to the International Internship University, the world's first virtual university, which is concocted by the visionary Piyush Pandit. The vision of Piyush Pandit is to take education to students, and not students to education, for the betterment of society. He has just one dream, no child should be deprived of education. To fulfill the dream, he has worked 24 by 7, and the dream came into reality in the form of International Internship University. Through his concerted efforts, Piyush Pandit has made the education so facile through IIU, that the learner from any corner of the world, from any university or college, can avail it, as per their needs and comfort, at a very nominal rate. International Internship University is building a better and brighter future for all young learners, and is committed to providing quality, skill-based, affordable, accessible and location-independent education to all the young learners of the globe, by providing internship opportunities. International Internship University is metamorphosing the conventional education system, by cutting down the additional costs and providing access to more than 1,000 plus courses and internships to their e-learners. Across 195 countries and 6 continents, throughout the year with over 150 virtual offices around the world. IIU has been accredited and affiliated with the World Education Organization, WEO, and International Accreditation Organization, IAO, and collaborated with all the world's top universities and educational institutions. Through the platform of MOOC, Massive Open Online Courses, with the aim of promoting internships and making modern education easy, accessible and affordable, IIU provides honorary degree, master's degree, graduate degree, certificate and diploma courses, professional education, customized programs, free courses, sustainable development goals courses, non-academic courses, blockchain technology learning lab and many more. The entire curriculum of the IIU is skill-based on the ethos of high academics, with the help of MOOC technology. Our country directors are constantly bonding with the corporate sector worldwide, whether it's MNCs or international job providers. This is done not only to benefit the students of that particular country, but also to benefit the schools or colleges which are affiliated to us. All the students and colleges will be given the support like, online training, virtual knowledge exchange, internship opportunities worldwide, placement assistance. IIU is committed to providing stress-free education, with internship and entrepreneurship opportunities, without any financial burden on the learners and their family members. International Internship University, after its inception in Australia, India has become the main hub of its operations. Mr. Piyush Pandit, co-founder and COO of IIU, India, and chairman of Swarna Bharat Parivar. Piyush Pandit concocted the world's first internship university, the International Internship University. The world's first virtual university that place internships as preeminent presidents. Piyush Pandit had a dream to provide idea of free education to learners across the world from the year 2017. After two years of continuous hard work and efforts, the research about the establishment of International Internship University has been completed in the year 2019. In 2020, IIU received the Certificate of Grant Innovation Patent, Australia under the Patent Act 1990. Innovation Patent Certification from WIPO Proof, ISO Certified 9001, 2005 and IAO Accredited. International Internship University is duly registered in 2021 by Certificate, Section 60. Further, IIU has been registered in India and USA. International Internship University has formed various councils to address specific issues faced by students, youths, women, and in the field of education. International Student Development Council Objective of this council is to help, guide, and motivate the students. 
The council is made to ensure that the voice of the students is not suppressed. Building a sense of community is the essence of the International Student Development Council. International Youth Development Council is formed with the objective of improving the lives of children and adolescents by meeting their basic physical, developmental, and social needs and by helping them to build the competencies needed to become successful adults. IIU Women Entrepreneurs Council recognizes the incredible skills possessed by a woman, respects their self-worth, and intertwines it with entrepreneurial skills to give a woman the power to create magic, magniloquence, and money with her skill sets. IIU Women Entrepreneurs Council is giving an opportunity to every woman on this globe to witness the uncultivated talents within her, to be the successful women entrepreneur. International Council for Educators recognizes the contribution of educators all over the world in the field of education, and encourages them to be a part of it and to change the lives of many more by imparting quality education and spreading knowledge worldwide. IIU is for everyone. Whatever you covet to be, whatever you crave to do, whatever you yearn to study, without any financial stress. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Uh, Abu and a day that we keep on remembering because our Lord is good. Thanking God and appreciate. IIU, the world's digital and first virtual international internship university, is the change. Offering over 1,000 subjects to the international student, providing mentorship and guidance to all those seeking to enhance their skills, career, and enterprises. As a result of our unwavering commitment to excellency, we have grown to become the world's largest knowledge exchange community since our inception. We have dedicated, we have dedicated core team along with robot technical support ensures that we reach learners around the globe seamlessly. To date, millions of viewers have benefited from our services, and we have awarded countless certificates to those seeking to improve their skills and careers. Our success is as a result of the tireless day and night effort by our team members, supporters, and most especially learners. We are grateful to your unwavering support and we promise to continue delivering exceptional education and support to our global community. I use the change. I you bring the change. I use the revolution in the education system. In our March conference, we have a topic: setting and tracking goals. Setting and tracking goals. Immediately after my speech, we have powerful speakers who, who are going to deliberate on this matter. As a great manager and country director, we need to empower our team to succeed. Core aspect of goal empowerment is called collaboration. Working together as a team to establish goals, milestone, an action strategy is one of the most important components to creating meaningful, highly motivating goals and your team really behind. Goals should be very precise with no room for misinterpretation specific. The goal should quantifiable and progress should be easy to track measurable. The goal should be attainable, not unrealistic, achievable. The goal should contribute to your broader overhaking goals, relevance. Many are the plans 
in person's acts, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Romans 19, 21. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plan. Proverbs 16, 3. The ultimate purpose of setting goals is to enable us to live a structured and balanced life and also to experience the joy and satisfaction that comes with accomplishing what we get out of it. Psalm 37, verse 4. If any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You will see it yet now that we are on the right track. Let's stay on it. Goal setting provides the motivation and courage to implement the goals and execute the plans effectively and efficiently. It enables us to achieve the balance between one real and ideal self. By implementing goals and succeeding from it, we regain self-confidence, social support, and can evaluate our achievements. Setting goals gives us assessments, allow you for evaluation or evaluate your life. Setting goals give us direction. Clarifying your goals enables you to set a direction for your future. Setting goals gives us focus. When you set your priorities, you can focus your attention on the things that align with your goals. Goal setting and tracking give inspiration. A stated goal fill you with excitement and the anticipation of fulfilling your desire. Setting goals brings happiness. Be thankful for the past, hopeful for the future, and engage in the present. When you set and achieve your goals, you increase your happiness and satisfaction in life. Notes, desire fulfilled as a free, as a tree of life. Desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred makes the heart seek. Proverbs 13, verse 12. When setting and tracking goals, this matter. What do I mean by the words matter? An acronym for them. We are specific, measurable, ambitious, relevant, time bound, stroke transparent, evaluated regularly, and recognized, stroke rewarded. Our goal should be specific as in clarity in the area of long term longer and short-term objective. We should be specific about the following. Who we will share our goals with to get support and drive accountability. This is what we call transparency. We should be specific about what exactly are we trying to accomplish? We should be specific about how we will know whether we succeeded, measurable. We should be specific about how we will recognize progress and celebrate win. That is evaluated and recognized, rewarded. We should be specific about when does the goal need to be completed, that is time bound. Why is this goal important and what impact will it have in the organization? That is what we call relevant and aligned. Note, ambitious goal needs a powerful mentor or motivator 
around who will be working with the team and specifying how they are going to accomplish each of the steps to achieve the goal along with the way so that the best result will be achieved. Goal setting and tracking allows companies to organize their time and resources and gives team members a clear focus on what they need to achieve and how. Goal setting gives, also gives clarity of purpose, greater unity, increased productivity, give fewer mistakes, improve proficiency, more opportunity for future product, projects, better chance of meeting the overall performance of an organization objective, and increased satisfaction. Using SMART to improve the overall performance of an organization objective, the following must be considered specific. Improve the bank strength of the sales and the marketing department. Measurable. Reduce turnover to less than 10% and recruit and hire at least three people each quarter. Attainable. Salary and recruiting budgets are adequate to achieve these targets. Relevance, sales and marketing are key driver to the company's revenue and productivity, profitability. Time bound, a means of quarterly and annual objective, types of goal setting, process goals, performance goals, and outcome goals. Process goals are specific action and processes of performance, of performing. Why performance goal based on personal standards. Outcome goals are based on winning pillars of goal setting. We have vision, analysis, we have the docket, and we have plan. The element of effective goal setting, supported by your governing values, clearly and specifically written, measure and have specific deadline. Personal attainments, criteria for good goals. Goals must be specific, attainable, written, realistic, accountability, and deadline. Type of goal. We have career goals, we have financial goals, we have personal goals, personal development goal, we have spiritual goal, and we have relationship goal. Steps of goal setting. Think about the results you want to see before making a goal. Take a closer look at what you are trying to achieve and ask yourself the following questions. One, create smart goals. Write your goals down. Create an action plan. Create a timeline. Take action. Re-evaluate and assess your progress. We have five C's of goal setting. One, we have clarity, clearness of purpose, plan, and action. Two, we have communication, clearly and directly. Clearly and directly. That is, your communication should be very clear and direct to the point. Collaboration, group of people working together to achieve a common goal. Consensus. Set your views aside in order to make progress. Find consensus wherever you can. Your view doesn't matter in this, but put it aside. But work with the view as agreed by the house. Compromise. It's not enjoyable, yes, but it, 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 it's necessary if you are to make way forward or to move forward. Smart goal can also be seen when Noah saved his family and animal from fraud. Summary, by setting goals, prove that you are serious about advancing your life. The benefit of goal setting can be yours when you take the initiative to improve your life in meaningful ways. A successful life does not just happen. Commit to working towards intentional goals and aspire to change your life for better and for best. 
smart goal, provide direction, help create objective, evaluate your strengths and weakness, motivate you, get you out of your comfort zone, forcing you to take action, incredibly useful in achieving goals, help retain one's focus on the desired results, giving you a feeling of satisfaction as you continue to monitor your progress. It is performance and answer tools that identify the areas you need to improve. Save time and could otherwise be wasted in activities that are not goal oriented. Note that smart goals may create unnecessary pressure, can be disheartening if not followed through. Certain goal can sometimes inhibit your creativity in other areas as all your focus may be channeled towards the goal. If you fail to meet your goal, you will feel a sense of disappointment and feelings of failure. But I want you to know this, my friends. By setting goals and track, tracking, prove that you are serious about advancing your life. So let us always get goals and tracking our goals. May God help us as we're listening. My powerful speakers are there. We are going to stress on this. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you all. Extraordinary, extraordinary start from our great vice chancellor, country director of Nigeria, head of African continent, honorable professor, Dr. Chap General Eboria Ushilo Charles. Thank you for your blessings. Extraordinary, extraordinary. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all honorable participants and the loving audience, all beautiful people present here from all around the globe. Dear IAUNs, like I love to say, IAU Africa is all gathered up to share knowledge and revolutionize the education under the strong leadership of our Africa head and country director of IAU Nigeria and vice chancellor of IAU academician, Professor Dr. Chap General Eboria Charles. Africa is the oldest inhabited area in the world as the second largest continent in the world. One might wonder if there are um, any English speaker country in Africa. And the answer will be yes, there is. There are also about 24 English speak countries in Africa with a population that now exceeds 1.3 billion people and 55 countries. Africa has been the center of diversity for a very, very long time, this I want to say, and continuing to bring us so valuable things about education, so valuable value of the human beings. Today, we have an interesting topic, sittings and tracking goals. We have great speakers soon. You will meet all the speakers, but, uh, for the first, I am pleased and honored to present you IAU. Behind this name, the brand is a team, family with a big soul, open to the new, to the change, because IAU is the change. It's my honor to introduce the team IAU by the strong support of IAU, who all are working consistently to achieve the vision and mission of IAU by bringing the new era of education all over the globe. The inspiration of IAU Sri Dandi Swami Jimaraja, his blessing and guidance in every endeavor of IAU are simulating. Trustees of IAU, Dr. Roshni Lal Ma'am, Mrs. Andrew Pandi, trustee of Swarna Bharat Parivar, visionary founder of IAU, Mr. Pesh Pandi, the man behind the success of IAU. Other co-founders of IAU, Mr. Stephen V, co-founder of IAU Australia, Mona Anjia, co-founder of IAU Indonesia, Nada Radkovic, co-founder of IIU Europe, board members of IIU, Dr. Snika Kadam, Chief Operating Officer, Director Academics Global, Dr. Andrew Sabarwal, Director Academic IIU India, Devshika Pata, Global HR, Academic Sion, Professor Chap General Eboria Ushino Charles, Vice Chancellor, IIU Head of Africa Continent, Country Director, IIU Nigeria. Mrs. Nada Radkovic, President, IIU Research Center, Country Director, IIU Croatia, President of IIU Research Center. 
Dr. Inga Karliceva, Europe Head, Country Director of IA in Georgia. Dr. Nidhi Bansal, Editor Revolution in Magazine. And Naraescu, President of Women Entrepreneurs Council and Country Director IA in Romania. IA U Advisory Council, Dr. Pratshiba Mishra, Dr. Andy Macho, Dr. Parin Somani, Dr. Bijay Kumar, Dr. T.P. Sashi Kumar, Dr. Kiel Ganju, Dr. Siam Sander Pata, Dr. Sesh Kumar. Let me tell you a few things about IIU. International Internship University, IIU, is building a better and brighter future for all young learners and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the globe. IIU is metamorphosing the conventional education system by cutting down the additional cost and providing access to more than 1,000 plus courses and internships to their learners across the globe. IAU has been accredited and affiliated with the World Education Organization and International Accreditation Organization and collaborated with all the world's top university and educational institutes through the platform of massive open online courses. IAU provides various certificate, including diploma, graduation, post-graduation diploma, post-graduation courses, and honorary doctorate. IU has received many accreditations as per international standards for its innovations, vision, creative ideas, research, and white papers publication. International Internship University, for sure, with a better and brighter future for you. And not forget, IU is the change. IU brings the change. IAU is the revolution. And now I see here a great leader, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas, director of I of Yes, You Can International, and yes, she can, author, inspirational speaker, mindset, and transformation coach, youth and relationship mentor. Welcome, dear Dr. Professor Elizabeth. Lucas. Good morning, good morning, morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, how are you all? How are you we today? We wonderful, can. wonderful, we wonderful. I want to say thank you so much for this wonder. I hope I'm, am I the first speaker? Am I the one speaking? Do you want me to speak now? Yes. Ah, okay. Sure. All right. Your okay. Book, of course. Okay, so good morning, sir. Professor Charles Ebora, my mentor. Thank you so much. Good morning, um, Dr. Emina. Thank you for introducing me to this wonderful workshop or conference this morning. Good morning, Dr. Inga. Good morning. Good morning, Professor Adiogu. Good morning, Ambassador Tandeta. Good morning. Um, Elena, good morning. Good morning. I guess this is uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Nada on international internship. Good morning to you all. Uh, I do not take any platform for granted. So let me first of all express my gratitude, sir. Piyush Handy, the founder of International Intensive University. Thank you, sir, for this, your dream your big dream of IIU. Thank you for setting us, setting us aside for us to work together, learn together and grow together. Thank you for this great platform. I also want to express my gratitude to all the co-founder and the trustee of IIU. I want to express my gratitude as well to all the team, the great, amazing team behind the scene of this conference. Thank you so much for organizing it. And also, I do not take it for granted. Thank you, Professor Charles, for inviting me to come and share my inspirational nugget of wisdom on setting and tracking goals, which that is one of my newest topic, but I will try. <laughs> okay, so thank you, thank you. Thank you. And for those that are still on their way, I hope they come on time so that we can learn together. 
Professor Adeogu, are you opening your camera or you are busy or something is happening with your connection this morning? Uh, Elena from Georgia, you are welcome as well. Okay, we are talking about go, go and set goals. But before then, can I quickly say that uh, without setting goals, we are going nowhere. Setting goals is actually the map of our objective and vision, um, vision or the dreams that we want to achieve. Setting goals is a guideline, either as an individual or as a group that will make us to achieve our purpose of gathering together, our purpose of working together, or our purpose of meeting up whatever we want to do in life. Um, I know that uh, Professor Adeogu is ready to give us all the insights. So I'm just gonna really <laughs> summarize what I know about purpose. And uh, Professor Charles, as, as usual, has actually, um, I won't say I stole his point or uh, stole his note, but uh, um, he is my mentor. So, <laughs> I'm following his guidelines, and uh, I believe the little I can share on this platform, it will be useful. When we talk of purpose, purpose is very essential because without you setting up a goals, you cannot meet your purpose. And it is very important that we know that right from the beginning of our journey of achieving our purpose. Setting up your goals is very essential as well because it will be um, it will be the map that you will follow. You know, sometimes we might want to um, dis, um, disoriented. Sometimes we might want to be dis discouraged or disappointed. Sometimes we might be distracted. But when the goals is being set and we are tracking it, then we will carry on. Even if we fall apart, we can still come back to the track. So first of all, I would like to say setting a goal stays smart. I believe everybody knows about that. I'm not going to really say much about that because I'm waiting for Professor Adeogu to give us it. Because these are the great professors. Me, I'm an inspirational speaker. <laughs> so. I'm just going to touch on it uh, when we talk about SMART, because SMART is very good for us to work on. So first of all, the S stands for specific. We have to be specific of what we want to achieve. There's no point putting so many things on the table to achieve at the same time. Everything has to be one thing at a time. So we need to be specific. What do we want to achieve at that particular time? We also, it has to be measurable as well. And we have to always make sure that at least it's a goal that we can achieve and it's a goal that is realistic. There's no point for a young girl hoping to build a house. I mean, when I say a young girl, a girl of 10 years saying that you want to build a house or a mansion, you know, so there's a time there is, you know, we have to be realistic. There's no point for us want to do everything at the same time. And there's also no point for us to say we want to achieve everything overnight. We are not talking of microwave business here. We are talking about something that is specific, measurable, and it's also achievable, and it's also realistic. So we have to really gauge all these things. And above all, time frame, how long, and that we want to really achieve these particular goals. It might be 10 years, it might be five years, it might be a few months, it might be a year, or it might be a certain time to meet it. So it is very important that we set up the time right from the beginning so that we can focus, so that we can meet the deadline and we can achieve our purpose. Now, when we talk of purpose, we are talking about focus and align to your team. Yes, like I said right from the beginning, if you are setting the goals, is either your individual or in, or in group. When we talk about individual, you might be having a career goal, you might be having a financial goals, 
or spiritual goals or physical goals or even mental goals. What's your goals for the year for your financial list? What is your goals? What are you setting? You know, for this year, I know we are now rushing, I mean, going into April, but we can still set the goals. It's never too late to set the goals. So your personal pain, what are you setting? I mean, how are you, how do you want to carry on meeting your purpose in this world? So you need to have your career goals, financial goals, spiritual goals, physical goals, and mental goals. For example, if you're talking about mental goals, you need to be adding into it how many books you want to read in a year and how many things that you want to research on. What else are the things that you want to add to your knowledge? Remember that I always talk about mindset and mindset is the information being stored in your, in your mind and it is the information being stored in your mind. So you want to store information that is very valuable, that is very important in your mind. How do you want to get about it? You want to research, you want to read more books, you want to meditate more, you want to observe people, you want to go to seminars. So these are the goal, things that you need to put into your goal setting. When we talk of career, what do you want to study? How do you want to go about it? Online, physical, all that. So you need to know how you want to go about that one. When we talk about physical, yes, health is wealth. How do you want to take care of yourself? What do you want to do at a certain time? You want to reduce yourself and you want, you want to reduce your weight or you want to increase it, you want to... Make, so how do you want to go about it? That is what's goal setting. And you have to be ready to meet those goals. So that is why focus is very, very important if you are setting up your goals because you need to focus. Why? Distraction will come. You know that in this world, there's so many atrocity going on. So distraction can come either from your family or either from your colleagues, either from your, your mates or friends, or even from this world. You can see that anytime you switch on the telly, or what do you hear? You hear so many bad news all over the place that himself can affect our emotions. How do you do with it? How do you cope with crisis? How do you cope with challenges. So these are the things that you need to really, really make, uh, you know, that will make you to focus because without focus, you'll be distracted, you'll be discouraged, you'll be disappointed. So focus also is very important because there are so many things that all of us can do. But when you come of setting a goal for a particular thing, we need to focus because sometimes we want to do some certain Go is things you want to achieve a purpose, you want to achieve something at this time. And at the same time, you are looking at other people, you want to copy them, you want to compare yourself, you want to copy, you've distracted yourself, you're breaking your focus. So that is why if you want to achieve whatever goals you want to achieve to get to where you want to go to, you need to focus. Remember the UN is also setting up a, 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 a sustainable development goals for 2030. Okay, IIU is also part of the organization that is focusing on these sustainable development goals. Right, okay, what do you want to do at that time? Because you cannot cover all the goals, but you can select, like IIU will select the education, the equality and other things like that. How do you go about it? You need to focus because you can't do every, you can achieve everything. Look at it this way. IIU is a great, uh, is one of the greatest organizations that is educating every one of us. Imagine IIU that wants to do something else like entertainment or something. We need to focus. We need to know our stand, our vision when we are setting our goals. So that is why it is very important we focus. Now, I'm not going to talk much about clarity because, I mean, I'm not going to talk about more about C's because I've written something down and then while my professor was thinking, I say, okay, my professor has really covered most of the thing, or most of my C's, but I will just mention something like I said before, challenge. Yes, it's one thing to set a goal. It's another thing to be able to have the ability to carry it on to the end. Because you know why? There will be challenges. Why you are 
fulfilling or achieving your goals. There will be challenges. I've said it right from the beginning. Yes, there will be disappointment. There will be, there will be discouragement. There will always be challenges, even some conditions that you cannot control like health issue or like any other things, my family issues or something like that. So there will be challenges, but I have a good news. You can overcome that challenges. It depends on how you see the challenges. If you see the challenges in a negative way, then if that one can hold you back or discourage you or make you to want to quit or nev never to achieve it. But if you see challenges as a way of growing, as a way of of improving yourself, getting better, learning new skills. If you see the challenges as opportunities, then you can achieve your goals. If you see a challenges as a way of you knowing better, you know, knowing better, getting better, then you can achieve your goals. Challenges will not, you know, even sometimes you can even challenge yourself. You know why? Because we don't want to be average. We don't want to settle like we don't want to settle afraid. We don't want to settle for less. And we don't want to settle for second best. And that is why challenges must come for us to grow stronger, wiser, and bigger. And so we need to also challenge ourselves, assess ourselves, assess ourselves as a group or even individual. Are we really doing more to achieve this goal? So we need to challenge ourselves even more. So apart from any other challenges that will come our way, we also need to challenge ourselves. Maybe some things we need to do better than other people, other groups. Maybe something that we need to stand out. So we need to challenge ourselves. Also commitment. Every one of us need to be committed to the goals we are setting. If you are not committed to it, you are just playing around and you are not doing whatever you want to do. So as a group, you need to be committed to it. Every one of us need to have that spirit of commitment. Yes, we want to achieve this goal. Yes, we want to see the end result of this goal. Yes, we want to complete this goal. So we need to be committed. Uh, committed is when you are ready to work hard to meet the deadline. Committed is when you are make yourself available whenever right. there is meeting. Commitment is when you want to go to another level or you want to add more of your ideas to what you, are, you want to achieve. Commitment is when you go extra miles so that it's not only by the book or by the process or by the policy, but you want to do more than that. So we need to be committed to our goals. And then the next one, that one also is relating to what I have said before, courage. You need to be encouraged. You need to be encouraged because if you don't put on that courage, you'll be discouraged. So you need to, well, no matter any situation or circumstances or how hard the, the, even the goals you are setting, how hard it is, you need to be courageous because only those people that are courageous will reach their goals or achieve their goals. So we need to be committed to that and also be courageous. So, and then it's very important as well that while we are working, I think I've said it earlier on, but I will say it in this way, feedback. We need constructive feedback. We need to be having feedback of whatever way. So we need to come together. Okay, what have you achieved in your area? What have you achieved in that, that place? So let's come together and be ready to receive feedback. The, the feedback might be criticism. The feedback might be constructive. The feedback might be positive. The feedback might be negative. But when you gauge it, always have it in your mind that the most important thing is that we want to achieve that goal. So it is very, very important. How do we track it? Because I don't want to stay here too long. I mean, I don't want to speak too long. How do we track it? Firstly, you set a goal. The first thing first, you need to plan. You need to plan how do you want to achieve the goal, either individually or even in corporately or in group. You need to plan it. Then the second one is you need to now start making a progress. It's supposed to be stage by stage. 
step by step. So you need to be progressing and you have to make a progress. So it is very important. And then above all, we are setting up our mission. So the reason why we set the goals is to meet the mission, is to, is to do a mission, you know, to have a mission. So how are we going to reach there? How are we going to finish it off? How are we going to see the outcome of this, our goal setting? It is very important. And above all, setting the goals is one thing. Carry on with the goals is another thing. And that is why we need to do it together. Togetherness, we can achieve their goals. Just as all the angels are working together to achieve the sustainable development goals. Oh yes, IIU team, together with all our great leaders in IIU, they can achieve their goals. And we, as IIU members, we can work together, we can stand together, and we can achieve the goals. Because you know what? This is the time for us to meet up, the, to achieve the goal, and also to do greater things and make a change, better change in this world, especially in the areas of education. So I want to say thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much for listening to me. And I am ready to listen to others because we are all learning and we are all growing and making it better. And we are the change maker. And yes, we can. And yes, you can. And yes, we can achieve the goals we set together or we set in our own personal life. Thank you so much and have a great day. God super. bless you all. Super, super, Professor Queen Elizabeth Lucas. Extraordinary, extraordinary. A speech from your heart, a strong speech, strong words. You are amazing. You are amazing. Thank you so much for your presence. And the truth is that purpose of in life does not mean just one thing. We are part of an intelligent and limitless, limitless universe. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we can. We all, we can. Now I want to invite our great head of Europe and country director, IIU Georgia, Dr. Inga Kalitera. Oh, so welcome everyone from Georgia. Thank you very much for the invitation. I am glad to be at an important conference in Africa today. Wow. Many thanks to Professor Charles, to uh, everything you are doing always great. My respect to you, congratulations. And today I'm sure it will be amazing as always. So welcome Queen Elizabeth, my big respect to you. Really wonderful and very important speech. We we'll learn a lot. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, dear Ermina. And uh, now I have a little presentation for today's conference. Uh, Ermina? It's visible. Oh, okay, thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, what is the goal? This is a dream for which we have developed a specific plan and are purposeful fulfilling it step by step. A goal is an expression of a person's ambition. A goal is something that can only be achieved through self-work. To achieve a goal, we act, but to desire, we just dream. A goal requires action and 
a wish can be fulfilled without uh, lifting a finger, even when you are asleep. As a child, I often dreamed of flying in the sky like a bird, sitting on the windowsill. You know, I always looked hard and dreamed, but, but I never tried to fly because I knew that a dream is a dream and action is a, a means of achieving a goal and it must be achieved. Achieving a goal is a written in a specific time frame. And the desire is just a desire without any time frame. Often five rules are offset with one wish so that they can never fulfill it. Have you dream of winning money in the literary and getting rich? Of course, yes. However, this can never become your goal. You cannot write of this desire in time and accordingly. You cannot plan your life in there. How that you will love safely with the money earned from tomorrow or the day after. My dear friends, desire is free, but her force has a price. We can dream for free and goals need come without a specific cost. If we dream of being richer, more successful, smarter, we must make the dream a goal and pay accordingly. It might be money we spend on learning and development. The time we will take away from family and ourselves and dedicate to achieving success. The energy we spend on achieving our goals. Yes. Time, effort, and money, these are the fees we receive in exchange for achieving the goal. The goal brings real quantity and uh, quarterly results. Desire is only emotional satisfaction. Do you want to change your life? Do you want to change your job, your status? This is possible only by setting a goal and achieving it, but on one condition. The goal should always be expressed in numbers. To be richer, more successful, smarter is a dream that we imagine achieving will only give us a, a formation of emotional satisfaction because we don't know how much that more is. To be the owner of one billion dollars to be promoted to the position of the president of the common your company to read 100 new books this is the goal because even after we achieve our goal we will now exactly what we got and at what cost. Okay, and finally, dream big, but make sure your goals, much bigger than your dreams, because dreams really come true, but goals always do. Thank you so much. This is my speech and my presentation for today's conference. Thank you so much, everyone, again. Wow.
Bravo, bravo, Inca. Extraordinary presentation. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Thank bravo. you. With your I daughter, try. daughter Ellen. <laughs> Ellen support me, yes. You know, this topic is very important, and uh, I try to make this good. I don't know. Thank you so much. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, dear Inga. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Now I want to welcome a great leader also, Professor Ravinder Rena, Professor of Economics and the Country Director of South Africa, IIU. Professor Dr. Ravinder Rena is a profound academician and distinguished scholar in economics, writer, editor, advisor, motivational speaker, and public intellectual with, all, with over 20, uh, 29 years of teaching and research experience in Asia, Pacific, Africa, and European continents. Welcome, Professor Ravinder Rena. Uh, Ermina, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you very good. Hello, uh, thank Professor. You much, Welcome. Uh, Ermina. Thank you very much, Ermina, for that kind introduction. And also, uh, thanks all the IAU colleagues uh, from different parts of the world. Uh, uh, for organizing this monthly uh, conference. Uh, every month, uh, without missing, uh, we've been organizing and uh, thanks to the African team and thanks to you, uh, thanks to our, all of our IAE executive management for making this happen uh, every month. Um, and the topic that was chosen today is very, very important uh, that uh, setting the goals and targets uh, because uh, every human being in this world, they need to set up some goal and a target. And we need to do some simple efforts and to reach those goals and targets so that we will be one of the successful people in this world. Success is not uh, a kind of, uh, it, it's not a, a destination just like that, but it is a journey. And in order to reach the journey, we need to follow lots of rules, regulations, principles and morals, value systems, strategies. So everything, it is a combination of everything actually. So therefore it is not one simple factor or one good character of a human being can make the human being to achieve those fundamental goals that we are targeting. And therefore uh, in order to set the goals, there is a, a principle that I studied uh, while I was doing my first degree more than 30 years ago. And uh, I remember that posed card, uh, P stands for planning, O stands for organization, R stands for reporting, and uh, B stands for budgeting, and C O stands for coordination. So this is how we need to organize ourselves. So in setting the goals, uh, uh, colleagues, that uh, it is not an easy phenomenon. Some of us, we are extremely educated people, some of us, we are not at all educated people. We are illiterates in this world. So probably, you know, in this uh, uh, 8 billion people that we have today, probably close to a billion people across the globe, they, are, they could be either semi-illiterates or illiterates completely. But whether you are illiterate, whether you are a professor, whether you are a doctor, whether you are an engineer or a, whichever profession you may carry with, but ultimately you need to, uh, follow certain guidelines. And a guidelines following is not a simple mechanism. It is easy to preach the people, but it is difficult to practice what we preach to the people. So that is where the goals, the goals, we, the way we set the goals, the way we take uh, those goals into our heart seriously, and therefore we work every single day. There is a saying that uh, if you want to achieve something, or if you wanted to do something tomorrow, rather do it today. If you want to do something today, do it now. So this is the fundamental uh, principle one has to practice. Now practicing that, saying that is too different. There, are, there could be thousands of motivational speakers across the globe. They may be saying what I said just now, but there could be very few people practicing those kind of uh, fundamentals. Therefore, if we delay, even there is a saying that uh, in, in my own mother tongue that says, if you take a nectar, if you delay the nectar usage, if you do not use the nectar within the given period of time, the nectar may become poison. So therefore, 
God has given us 24 hours time. Whether you are a rich man or you are a president of a particular country or a prime minister of a particular nation or you are a researcher, you are a professor, you are a vice chancellor and all of us, we got only 24 hours time. So within this 24 hours time, what we are doing and how we are doing, what targets that we fix, what are our missions, visions and objectives and how, what are the strategies that we are applying and using in order to achieve our objectives. That's what makes us different from other fellow human beings. Now, if somebody says that Elon Musk is the richest man in the world, uh, he became a richest man in the two years time and he crossed his own record. And that person probably he became richest in two years time, maybe 10 times he became first richest man. And probably there are occasions he also became maybe third richest or the fifth richest man also. So richness or the poorness, it is not permanent for us. So ladies and gentlemen, we always need to remember one thing that when you have 24 hours time, what you are doing in the 24 hours time, how best, how efficiently you are using the 24 hours time that will determine who you are going to be in the future. Elon Musk example, I would like to quote here today that uh, he was born and brought up in South Africa. And uh, probably he could be about two years younger to me in, in age. And he studied at Pretoria Bias High School. He was humiliated, he was bullied by his own classmates. Quite a number of times he was beaten up and bullied by his own in his lifetime. He left South Africa while he was still a teenager. He went to Canada, he went to USA. He started his journey in a very small scale. Even I was following his uh, developments, particularly for the past uh, five to six years down the line. And Elon Musk, nobody knows in the world. And now for, for, for the past three to four years time, the whole world come to know who is Elon Musk actually. So it is, and that is the slogan that I told you just now, that Elon Musk firmly believes that it is, if you want to do something tomorrow, do it today. If you want to do something today, do it now. There is no other tomorrow tomorrow. We cannot wait for tomorrow because tomorrow many people may not see. And therefore, if you are alive today, you better do it what you wanted to do it. Whether it's a small thing or a big thing, but do it without any hesitation. So this is the fundamental I would like to uh, quote the experience and the statements of Elon Musk, who considered to be the richest man, who reached for the first time in the world more than three hundred billion dollars. Uh, you know that made him the richest man. Now the, there was a fluctuation because of the pandemic. There is a fluctuation because of uh, so many other uh, financial, economical reasons. The rich man can become one eighty dollar, one eighty billion dollars sometimes, three hundred billion dollars sometimes. Maybe in the coming couple of years time, $1 trillion uh, to make a rich man. That is not the richness or the poorness is not important here today. A common man who is working as an agricultural laborer, a common man who is working as an agricultural farmer, an engineer, a medical doctor, a driver, a pune, a security guard, a professor, and all of us, we do have only one common thing in our life is the time, the day, that is 24 hours. Whether we are using the 24 hours more for our entertainment for ourselves, or we are trying to learn something good and that whatever we learn, we try to, with our innovative thinking, with our innovative approaches, what we try to add with our innovative ideas, and then we can try to modify it and we can build from there. And whatever we build, whatever we share with these uh, communities, with the students, with the institutions, wherever we go, that's what determines us. There are motivational speakers, they are social reformers, they are social entrepreneurs, actually. They may not have any capital as an investment, they may not be rich, but they are inspiring so many rich minds. That is what is important, ladies and gentlemen. So therefore, uh, in the interest of time, uh, I, I would like to state uh, firmly, stating that uh, uh, setting the targets, and achieving those tar targets, it all it depends upon the discipline of a human being. And discipline is not uh, so easy. And we will break our own disciplinary rules that we are fixing for ourselves. And therefore, 
we need to stick to those disciplinary rules what time we wake up in the morning what time we sleep and between waking up and sleeping what we wanted to achieve and how we wanted to achieve you may achieve small today you may achieve a little bit bigger in a one year time in the coming five years or 10 years time you may achieve so much big elon musk example as i given to you 10 years back is no more and no nowhere known to the people but within five years time is known probably that is the way that we need to build ourselves therefore now are that setting the targets and also achieving those targets is very very important aspect every human being life whether the old man or a young boy both of them they can still achieve what they wanted to achieve in their lifetime so therefore ladies and gentlemen with this few uh, uh, events uh, sorry insights from my side i like to uh, quote one example here that when we boil the water you put a egg one side you put a potato on the other side a potato gets softer with the same boiling water whereas egg become harder so through your journey you as an individual through your uh, disciplinary rules and regulations whatever you wanted to set and uh, then the golden principles of life that you wanted to practice on every single day to achieve your set targets and goals you need to practice so sometimes you need to become hard like a egg sometimes you need to become a soft like a potato so you need to practice you know based upon the circumstances and you need to uh, achieve your targets so this is what i would like to uh, say for today ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for the opportunity ermina and uh, all our colleagues from iiu from different corners of africa and europe and thank you one and all uh, we, we will uh, probably meet uh, next month as well thank you bye, bye for now extraordinary i um, have a single sorry one. sorry before you say something yes. quickly because i miss up three things um sorry if you can permit me because i'm okay. jotting my thing oh. professor about the um four you mentioned um planning is p organization is o r please can i have the r b c please post carb yeah actually i was saying about p for planning o for organization yes. r for reporting uh, d for direction as uh, co for uh, uh, cooperation or coordination and uh, uh, post cob so the b okay. for budgeting okay i thank hope i so covered uh, post cob p o s d yeah and s for staffing also sorry s for staffing uh, the way we try to structure our staff that is also very important so this i studied as part of the management uh, while i was doing my first degree during 1987 to 1990 i still remember that post carb thank you so much okay how about you thank you very much pro thank you nice to see you nice to see you too I see have... you next week saturday <laughs> i have a single word professor avindarena excellent excellent and i love this all we you have to do do it today not tomorrow not tomorrow excellent excellent and you are a role model for us and i think this is the supreme goal of life to live a life of passion and authenticity to fight for the values you believe in to do with passion everything you like to say i can do anything i am an unstoppable Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now I want to invite Dr. Kofi Abotki. Is a um, I don't know if he's here. No, he's not here. Uh, I want to invite Dr. Ajayogun Joseph Kayode, international keynote speaker, multi-award winning certified content marketing strategies, communication and leadership coach, and certified public speaker. Welcome, Dr. Ajayogun. All right. Uh, good day, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. Um, precisely, this is at 1019 here in Nigeria, Lagos. So I will say good morning if you are uh, in Nigeria. And if you are from other parts of uh, the country, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today, and uh, I count it a great privilege 
to have um, so many of my mentors here. Uh, I have uh, mm -hmm. Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth. Uh, mm -hmm. I listened to your presentation and I noted some important points that I want to implement in my daily life as far as uh, setting goals is concerned. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate uh, my uh, mentor too, the Vice Chancellor, Professor uh, Charles Eboria, who also doubles as uh, the African uh, Country Director. I appreciate um, Professor Ravinda for the insight he has just shared. Uh, Dr. Inga from Georgia, thank you very much. And my very good friend, uh, the moderator, uh, Dr. Emina, thank you very much for a job well done. I've listened to uh, a couple of speakers with uh, the insight they have shared. You will agree with me that uh, from what has been said so far, uh, there are different kinds of goals. You can talk about uh, financial goals. Um, I remember Queen Elizabeth emphasized on this, the importance of setting financial goals, whether as an individual, as um, a business person in your career, you can set financial goals. Another goal you can also set in your um, area of life is um, social goals. You can set personal goals. You can set relationship goals. You can set also intellectual goals. Yes, Queen Elizabeth also mentioned the importance of uh, fitness and um, health. As the saying goes, health is what? Health is wealth. You can set um, goal as regards uh, how to take proper, uh, proper care of your health. You can also set goal as regards uh, fitness, going for um, um, fitness um, exercise from time to time. My presentation today will focus on another important goal in every area of life, and that is a business goal. But before I proceed with um, my presentation, uh, for the sake of those who are not familiar with uh, what I do for a living, um, let me also briefly introduce myself. I'm Professor Dr. Adeogun Kayode. I'm a certified uh, marketing strategist by Google and also by eMarketing Institute and uh, Hotspots. I'm also a certified uh, trainer on leadership and management by Global Trainer Academy, and also certified uh, public speaker and communicator by Daged Academy, and also by John C. Maswa. So it gladdens my heart once again to be here. And um, as I said earlier, my presentation will focus on uh, setting business goals. Now, you may ask, that uh, what is the importance of uh, setting business goals? Or let me put it this way, why should business goals be set in attaining one's goals, mission, objective, or what have you? So this presentation will look at step-by-step uh, -step means of setting goals that are specific. Now, if you remember, uh, Professor Charles emphasized on SMART, and how you can set uh, smart goals by being specific, being measurable in your goal setting, then achievable goal, that's what the H stands for, being realistic and also time bound. So this presentation um, will help you to see the importance of setting business goals that are specific and come with deadlines to keep your company on track, your employee motivated and everyone pulling in the same direction. So uh, why is goal setting important? I remember that um, Dr. Inge lay more emphasis on uh, goal setting and why it is important. So I'm not going to dwell on that. My focus will be on um, why business goals are important. Uh, business goals are important, one, because it's up to articulate what your business aim to achieve over a period of time. So for you to be effective as an um, entrepreneur or as a business owner, your business goals should be specific. And this uh, includes that uh, 
date by which you want to get things accomplished. For example, at the beginning of the year, you must set a goal of what you want to achieve for the first quarter of the year. From January to March, for example, you must have a specific goal that you want to achieve. So it must include a date. As uh, Professor Charles mentioned, it must be time bound. So you mustn't leave it open that, okay, any time from um, January to any time of the year, then we can measure our goals. No, it must be specific. It must include the date by which you want to get it accomplished. Uh, do you know what this will help you to achieve as a business owner or as an entrepreneur? The specificity, uh, the specificity of your goal and the timeliness will enable your organization to measure if you have met your stated goals. And if otherwise, you won't know what you can do to adjust yourself and get things balanced, get your goal achieved, retrace your step, and see how you can align with your vision and the mission of your organization. So setting business goals will help you set direction for business department, for example. If you have different department, if you operate um, a larger organization where you have a personnel department, finance department, you have um, so many departments that have different specific objectives or mission to achieve. So when you set a business goals, you will be able to set direction for your business departments that will help them to know um, where uh, the vision of the organization is focusing on. And as the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just what? It's just a wish. If you have a goal and you don't have specific plans on how to achieve it, it's just a wish. It's a wishful thinking. So for you to achieve your goals as a business owner, be specific. Include dates when you want to get things achieved. So why is it important to set goals for your business? One, it gives your business direction. It, help, it helps you to track your business um, growth or progress. It also keeps you accountable. You will be accountable to yourself or if you have accountability partner in your organization, if you operate a large um, uh, organization or if you are a business owner or a sole proprietor, when you have an accountability partner where your goal is lagging, it will correct you on what you need to do to get things achieved. It also helps you figure out what you really want. In setting your goals, you must know your aim. You must know your target. So when you have, have a specific goal with deadline, that is a goal that is measurable, you will be able to figure out what you really want to accomplish. It also motivates you too. That is another importance of goal setting. You will be motivated, all right? As you measure your progress and you feel happy that you are systematically accomplishing your goal, then the motivation will be there to carry on or to continue with um, you know, your vision, your mission, and um, the objective of your organization. And then it also pulls you out of mental block when you set specific goal, you will be able to track your progress. You will not be lost in transit, as it were, in measuring the progress you have attained. Let me give you an example. Uh, IT organization must support the business goal by one, identifying the people, the processes, and the technology that enable business sources. And IT can do this by participating in their own strategic planning exercise and by clearly documenting what you know, processes they currently participate in and what processes they need to develop. So setting business goals will benefit you in so many ways. And um, I'm going to emphasize on the um, four benefits that you can derive from setting goals, apart, apart from the importance of setting goals that I have mentioned. 
One, where setting business goal and measuring progress against them will provide your business with the following benefits or what I will call advantages. One, you will have a clear, concise, and sheer understanding of what your success is, particularly when objectives and key results, or what I will call OK how, I mean, Objectives and key results, the acronym is OKHAL, are included as part of your business goals. That is one of the benefits or the advantage of setting a measurable or achievable goal. Another benefit is that uh, it helps to communicate priorities of your business. For example, you will be able to communicate to your workers, to your team, to your business unit, what you want to achieve. It's not a one-man show. For you to achieve success, especially if you operate a large organization, you need to carry your subordinates along. For you to achieve your objectives, for you to achieve your goals, your subordinates must be well informed of what you want to achieve. So, it is a way to communicate priorities and align your workers, your teams, your business units who might not otherwise know how their roles, how their responsibility fit with achieving your business goal. But once they have this information as to what is expected of them, as to uh, what they stand to benefit if they um, align with your goals and objectives, then they will be motivated. They will want to put in their best to achieve uh, your organization's uh, objective. Another benefit of uh, goal setting is that um, it is a framework for better measuring accountability. I, I've mentioned that earlier. Uh, as a contribution of workers, teams, and businesses you need, you will be able to assess on how they meet their established uh, uh, objectives uh, of your organization. And the last but not the least on this is that uh, uh, goal setting is a way to motivate and engage your employees. Now, having talked about the importance, the benefits of goal setting, now what are the steps to setting business goals? Now, this will help uh, startups. It will also help one who is thinking of starting a business um, in the near future. So. I want to hold you to pay attention to this section uh, as I emphasize on steps to setting goals. The first one is you need to assess the current state of your business. What is the current state of your business? Assess it. As well as the industry you are operating in, you need to uh, also assess um, the market, the economy, the demography, and other trends in the line of business or in the niche that uh, you operate. Uh, mind you, there are various methods for analyzing and measuring an organization uh, you know, status. Uh, in uh, management, there's what we we'll call a SWOT analysis. And it is one of the most commonly used uh, approaches as far as assessing the current state of any business is concerned. The SWOT analysis, um, we guide business owners through a process to identify their business strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunity, and hence uh, uh, the name. And also specifically, it will help business uh, leaders or business owners to identify what is working and what needs to be improved on. Exactly. And this will help to expand your market uh, trends, uh, your market opportunities, whether you are, you know, you are producing products, you know, if it is a services, it will also give you an insight or provide uh, growth for your company and help to uh, tackle any barriers or any opposition that may affect the growth of your business or challenges or even competition or other factors that may threaten the growth and even survival of your business. So benchmarking and market analysis, we also provide further insights into 
you know, the areas that I've mentioned, such as the challenges, the competition, the barriers, or other factors that may threaten uh, the growth of um, your business. Now, as you can see, I hope you can see the SWOT analysis uh, matrix. Uh, you can you see it on the screen? The strengths are focused on what does your organization do better than your competition? That should be your focus. Why you should not overlook your weaknesses? It is important that you pay attention to um, uh, what your organization can do better than your rivals or than your competition, all right? Then your weaknesses is what does your organization need to improve upon? You have identified your area of strength. Yes, there must be weaknesses. Now, having identified these weaknesses, how can you work on, on your weaknesses and uh, thereby achieve the goals and objectives? of your organization. Then the O stands for opportunity. The question you need to ask yourself for opportunity that you need to uh, you know, seek for in your organization is what market trends could lead to increase in sales in your organization? So you need to ask yourself this uh, question. Then the T stands for threats. Every organization has threats things that can threaten the progress of your, of your business. So you need to ask yourself, what are the advantages competitors have over your organization? Now, you can turn this, your threat, to your strengths. You can also turn it to opportunities. But the most important thing is to uh, ensure that uh, you take your time, you can have your team to look at this SWOT analysis to identify um, your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunity, and um, the threats in your organization. Now, having mentioned that, the second step you need to take as regards uh, setting a business goal is to establish specific goals for your business in order to achieve, you know, uh, the, 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 the aims and objectives of uh, your organization. So you need to establish specific goal for the business to achieve based on the analysis of the business and the factor that presents opportunity for the growth and threats that, uh, you know, that may come while you are engaging in your business. The third step you need to take in setting a business goal is you need to put a timeline to each goal. Remember I mentioned earlier that um, your goal needs to be specific. It needs to be measured. It needs to be time banned. So you need to put a timeline to each goal. So this is expected of business leader or business managers so that they will be able to know, you know the progress they have made. Startups and company in fast-paced industry should have shorter, tighter deadlines. It is important, all right? Why well-established company? I would suggest uh, they should hunt for goals with uh, longer uh, timelines. Then the fourth uh, steps in uh, setting goals is um, you need to establish when and how progress against goals will be measured. Who to hold accountable or who to hold responsible for reaching each uh, business goals and how they will be held accountable. This must be clearly stated. It must be clearly put in writing so that you can hold them accountable. Or another advantage of having it in writing is so that they can always make reference to it. Should they forget what is expected of them um, as uh, an employee, or should they forget the vision and the mission of the organization? Then the fifth uh, step in uh, setting business goal is you need to integrate the business goal into the organization's business plan. You need to uh, develop a business strategy that will drive the business towards achieving its goals. And this you can do by uh, identifying and incorporating milestones 
that can mark the progress or the growth of uh, your business. Uh, the goals are established at the top, but then they should trickle down. Uh, they should be tri uh, trickled down, I mean to say, so that even business units can translate how they apply it to, you know, to each unit of the organization. Then I also need to mention the sixth um, step in uh, setting goals in any organization or when you want to establish um, a business, communicate the business goal to the entire organization. Do you know why this is important? Yes, you have a vision here of your business, but you are not working alone. You have your subordinates, you have your other employees at the lower cadre, at the lower cadre and at the upper cadre, whichever level they are, you need to regularly communicate your business goal to the entire organization so that they can align with the roles, the responsibility, the deliverables assigned to business departments, so teams and individual employees with the stated uh, business goal, right? Good. And then uh, from what you can see on the screen, you can see how you can systematically develop your business strategy as uh, a business owner or as um, a manager in an organization. You need to set up your business objective. You need to build your team. You need to be flexible in strategy execution. You need to identify your business purpose. You also need to define your competition advantage. You need to develop a strategy to executing the framework of your organization. And the last but not the least, you need to measure and also improve. This I have mentioned uh, why explaining um, uh, the SWOT analysis. All right. So once you've got your list of business goals, you also need to put action. All right. And that is why it is important. You need to be specific in your goal setting. So in summary, in summary, it is important that uh, you remain accountable. Uh, you set a time frame for your, uh, for your goals. Uh, and uh, more, importantly, uh, more importantly, you need to have resources that can help you to achieve your goals. What are the resources you need? For example, you need to detail your budget, your staffing requirements, and any other supplies you will need to accomplish your goal. Then as regards um, being accountable to achieving a business goal, you need to tell your staff, your customers, or a group of people you trust about your goals. These people can help you to stay on track. They can help you to measure your, uh, your growth, or they can help you um, towards uh, achieving your goals. And the last on this uh, list is uh, you need to review your progress. You need to consider how you will measure the success of your goal. You need to set aside to regularly review how you are tracking uh, towards uh, the attainment of your uh, organization's mission, vision, philosophy, objective, or what have you. Then lastly, you need to consider what action you can take if you are not on track. Doing this will help to achieve your goals. And uh, on this note, I want to draw the curtains of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening to me. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, can you please, before you go, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm learning. Can you please okay. explain to us? Uh, I think you've missed out the determination. Can you please um, throw light in that determination? Uh, okay, okay. So as a business owner, when you set goals, you must come with uh, the objective of what you want to accomplish. I remember you mentioned in your presentation that uh, it is important in setting goals that focus is important in goal setting. When you are not focused, that means the determination is not there to achieve your goals. So when you are focused, you will be faced with distractions, like you mentioned, uh, Prof, distractions will be there. However, when you are determined, 
You can also switch that word determine for focus. You can get anything in your organization goals achieved seamlessly. And also, when you also uh, carry your um, your audience, for example, audience in this context is your employees, your customers. When you carry them along in uh, goal settings, it will help to achieve your goal. So in summary, like you said, focus is important in goal settings. Determination is important in goal settings. You will be faced with uh, distractions, however, with determination or with focus, you can get all things achieved. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary, extraordinary, great, great Dr. Adelbun, great presentation um, about goals. And I was happy because I see the analyzer, sort analyze, extraordinary, extraordinary. If you can stop uh, Adelbun, the presentation, stop sharing. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We learned so much from your presentation. And to truly live your life's purpose means to think and do what is important to you. When you succeed in this, you have reached your goal in life, I think. Now I have the pleasure to invite Dr. Mare Valede Isa Mercelo. He holds a three bachelor of education, others degree, the number of short courses from different institutions, he received an honorary doctorate in ICT in education from the International Internship University. Uh, he's teacher of Pogudi Maribura Primary School, National Teaching Awards, National Candidate. Welcome, Dr. Ishamel Seno. Did you hear us? Dr. Ishamel? Are you there or maybe? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Welcome. I'm here. Welcome. Right. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for. Yes, I hope I'm clear. And um, thank you very much for the time. And I like to first start by acknowledging this uh, opportunity for sharing uh, my knowledge regarding um, the topic, uh, which is... If you can uh, set your camera because you are like this. If oh, not, it's okay. Sorry. We are happy to see you. I hope it's clear now. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. All right, I was saying I'm very uh, honored uh, by the IIU to be here today to share my uh, knowledge uh, regarding the topic, uh, setting goals and tracking goals, which is a very uh, crucial and a very paramount uh, topic according to me. I can't say to youth, but to every uh, individual as in life, whether you are young or you are old, you need to be able to set up uh, goals for yourself and be able to track them. Because majority of us is that we are very good when it comes to uh, setting up goals, which is the theory part of it. But when it comes to the practical part of it, which is to track them, uh, you find that we are uh, not good with that. That is why in many cases, I always tell people that Every year when the year begins, uh, they said what we call the new year resolutions. But anyway, uh, during the course of the year, uh, they don't track the, those resolutions to check how far they are with them. They only revisit them on the last day of the year or when the year ends. And uh, in most cases, you find that out of all their, new, their resolutions, they didn't even achieve even a single one of them because they were failing to, to track them uh, uh, along the, 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 the way. So hence, I'm very much um, humbled to be able to share uh, what I know regarding um, this 
uh, goals as, as far as sitting and taking them is concerned. So first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be general and I'm going to start by uh, taking you through on how to set a personal uh, goal or a personal goal setting. As I've said, uh, many people, um, they feel as if they are uh, adrift in the world. They work hard, but they don't seem to get anywhere worthwhile because they don't have goals or they don't have directions in life. I always tell people that many people, they, are, they, they, they just live, but then they, they, they don't know why they are living. They don't have a purpose. Uh, so every day they wake up, they go back and sleep. They wake up the following day, they go back and sleep just like that. So hence I'm saying they work hard, but they don't seem to get anywhere worthwhile because they don't have a direction. They don't have a solid proof of where they want to, to go. So a key reason um, that such people feel this way is that uh, they actually haven't spent enough time thinking about what they want from life. And they haven't also set themselves formal goals. So after all, uh, maybe I can ask to see, will you set out on a major journey with no ideal or of your destination? Probably no. So the question is, how do you set a goal? First and foremost, you need to consider what you want to achieve and then commit to it. That is very crucial when you want to set a goal. First, you consider what you want to achieve. Thereafter, after considering it, you then commit to it. For instance, last year, uh, one of my goals was that I wanted to, to win the National Teaching Awards and of which I did, because that was my goal from the point go. So when the year began, I made sure that I did everything that will actually elevate me to that level. I didn't wait for the last moment when they say the applications are opened and then I start uh, beating around the bush. I prepared from the beginning. And at the end of the day, I reached where I wanted to go. So hence I'm saying, you need to commit, you do whatever it takes. And I wanted to talk about a, something a very common as far as schools are concerned, which is the smart mnemonic. I believe that at this current juncture, we all know what a smart mnemonic uh, means, which means as to be specific, uh, measurable, attainable, as well as um, relevant and time bound. So whatever goal that you set, it needs to be specific. Don't be that around the bush, go straight to the point, be specific. I want to achieve this. By the end of this year, I want to maybe to be promoted at work. That is to be specific. So thereafter, it needs to also be measurable. How much can you measure uh, that particular goal uh, so that you know whether it is actually achievable or not? It also needs to be attainable. You need to be relevant. Also to have time constraints to say, I want to achieve this in one year or in five years or in 10 years. So that is what I wanted to share to say. Use the smart mnemonic if you want to uh, set goals for yourself. Because if you don't want to use the smart mnemonic, you will set the goals which are not achievable, which are not practically possible. So that is why at the end of the day, you find that you are unable to achieve those goals because you were not realistic from the point go. Because as an individual, you know yourself, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses. So when you set goals, you need to uh, take those into uh, account to say, since this is my strength and this is my weakness, so then my goal will be like this. So you know how to restructure your goals uh, depending on who exactly you are. Now, the process of setting goals help you choose where you want to go in life. By knowing precisely what you want to achieve, know where you uh, have to concentrate uh, your efforts and you'll also quickly spot the distractions that can so easily lead you astray. Right. 
So when setting goals, why do we actually have to set goals? As I've said earlier on, first and foremost is for your life to have direction. Know where exactly you are going and how you want to uh, get to there. Now, setting goals gives you both a long-term uh, vision uh, together with a short-term motivation. Remember, if you set a goal that um, you want to uh, achieve something in 10 years, you can't just say you want to achieve in 10 years. Sometimes it will seem uh, impossible. It will seem unachievable because of the time period. But then now, that doesn't actually tell you that you can't get there. You need to break that long-term vision into short-term motivations to say, I want to own a, maybe a South African leading company in 10 years. Now I need to uh, sit down to break down that particular uh, long-term vision into short-term motivation to say, since I want to achieve it in 10 years, the first year I'll be doing all the research that I can. Secondly, on the second year, I will be uh, setting appointments with uh, the successful business people who are in the same industry so that they can take me through on how to do and where to, how to get there. You get it? So you break it down so that it can be a uh, seem easier, right? So this actually focuses uh, your accusation of knowledge and helps you to organize your time and your resources so that you can make the most of your life. So by setting a sharp, clearly defined goals, you can measure and take pride in the achievement of those goals. You will see a forward progress in what might previously have seemed a long, pointless grind. So you will also raise your self-confidence as you recognize your own ability and competence in achieving the goals that you have set. So along the journey, you keep on motivating yourself. I always tell people that if you have a goal uh, and then you break it down into smaller chunks that are uh, achievable, once you achieve those smaller chunks, you need to appraise, you need to reward yourself with the little that you achieve. You can't just uh, aim big uh, without starting small. That is why it would, it would be a, that just more like allusion. So, but then if you have a big goal and then you have smaller uh, goals that can help you to elevate to that bigger goal, once you achieve it, you praise yourself. That will, in, in fact, uh, also raise your self-confidence to say, oh yes, I, I, I can, I can do this than when you just have a bigger goal and then you sit and relax, you assume that manna from heaven will come, of which is practically impossible. So when setting personal goals, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, you set your goals on a number of levels. What do I mean when I say on a number of levels? First and foremost, you need to create your big picture of what you want to do with your life and identify the large scale goals that you want to achieve. Very important. After creating that big picture, you will then break uh, this down into smaller and smaller targets that you must hit to reach your lifetime goal. And last but not least, you finally uh, once you have your plan, start working on it to achieve that particular goal. But the question with that might be, how do you stay on the course? Because sometimes you might think you are still on the course only to find your way far ahead. You have lost track. So once you have decided on your list set of goals, you keep the progress going by reviewing your updating uh, and you review and you update your to-do list on a daily basis. I tend to tell people that in many cases, when you set goals, put it on, on blueprint, paste it somewhere. Maybe it can be uh, at the back of your, 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 your door uh, or your, your, your bedroom. So that every day you revisit that particular goal. You need to revisit daily. If you don't do it daily, trust me, you lose track. 
So every day you revisit your goal to say, how far am I? It means today I need to be, to do this and this to get there. So you motivate and you revisit your goal a daily, on daily basis. And periodically, you review the longer term plans and modify them to reflect your changing priorities and experience. If you set goal at the beginning of the year, doesn't mean that that goal will be like that forever. If you realize that it's not working like this, you change. Not necessarily that you change the entire goal, but you change the priorities and the experience of, of that particular goal. Right? So, uh, what are the further tips of setting your goal apart from the ones I've shared? Another one is that you need to state each goal as a positive statement. Very important. Because if uh, whenever you are alone, sometimes you tend to be negative to say, ah, but this is not possible. So you need to always state that particular goal as a positive statement. You express your goals positively. Secondly, you need to be precise. What do I mean? Set precise goals, putting in dates, putting in times, putting in the amounts uh, so that you can measure achievement. Because if you don't put go, uh, those goals uh, precise, if you don't uh, have dates, you don't have times, sometimes you, you, it will be difficult for you to measure that particular goal. Again, you need to set priorities. When you have several goals, give each a priority. This helps you to avoid feeling overwhelmed by having too many goals. It also helps you to direct your attention to the most important one. Remember, if you have good goals, they won't have the same weight. They will be that which is the most important one. So pay much attention to that. Again, you need to write them down, as I said. Again, you need to keep operational goals small. You need to keep low level goals that you are working towards small and achievable because if it's good, it's very big, sometimes it seems unachievable. Again, you need to set performance goals, not outcome goals. What do I mean? You should take care of the set goals over which you have as much control as possible. It can be quite uh, sometimes uh, this repeating to fail uh, to achieve a personal goal for reasons beyond your control. If you are in business, these reasons could be a bad business environment or unexpected effects uh, of government policy. So hence, I'm saying you need to set those goals on performance, not on outcome. Again, you need to set realistic goals. It's very important and ladies and gentlemen, to set goals that you can achieve. Because if you set the goal that is not realistic, it will also kill your morale. It will also destroy you because it will seem impossible. And if it seems impossible, it makes you lose the interest. So it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that when you set goals, let them be realistic. Because you yourself, you know how you perform. You know yourself. You know your pros and cons. You know uh, your, uh, your, your strengths and your weaknesses. So take those into account. And in order for you to achieve those goals, when you have achieved your goal, like I said, take time to enjoy the satisfaction of having done so. And you'll thank me later. You need to absorb the implications of the goal achievement. And also at the same time, observing the progress that we have made towards other goals. Because if you achieve a one goal, or if you achieve the smaller chunks of those goals that you have broken down, it means they will be elevating you, or it will be the building blocks to that particular bigger goal. So it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that know yourself, know where you're going, and know the steps that you need to take each day. Because if you don't know that, sometimes your life loses directions. It loses the meaning. So with the experience, ladies and gentlemen, of having achieved your goals, you need to review the rest of your plans every time. 
if you have achieved your goal easily, next time you need to make sure that this, the, the, the next goal becomes harder. If the goal took a, a, this repeating length of time to achieve, make the next goal a little easier because you know yourself. If you learn something that will lead you to change other goals, do so. And if you noticed a defect or a deficit in your skills, despite achieving the goal, you need to decide whether to set goals to fix that. Don't just leave it like that. That is why in many cases you find that, as I said in the beginning, you have um, the resolutions every year when the year begins. At the end of the year, you realize that you never achieved any of those uh, 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 resolutions. So you take that particular resolution to the next year. The same thing happens. You take it to the other year. That is why at the end of the day, you find that uh, your life seems like it's, it doesn't have any direction. It doesn't have a meaning. So you need to set goals to fix this, ladies and gentlemen. So ladies and gentlemen, that is to say, make sure that your goals are smart every time. Let them be smart. And if they are smart, trust me, it will be easier for you to achieve them. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Ermi, mute yourself. The microphone, please. Thank you. Extraordinary, Dr. Ishamela. Real role model. So, so, so strong. Your speech was so strong and the message so strong for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great to have you today with us. Extraordinary, extraordinary. Now, before I give... Um, I call uh, our respected vice counselor. Uh, I want to thank you all for being with us today. Thank you to the team IIU, a great team IIU. Thank you to you people who you are present in the live chat with us. And uh, last but not less, thank you to all the speakers for their wonderful, encouraging presentation and speeches we have. So we had so, so great speakers today. Uh, congratulations, IIU, Team IIU Africa. Excellent congratulations uh, for our vice chancellor uh, because he's a great leader and um, he empowered all the team. Thank you, Sipush Pandit, for this great platform, your involvement and your support. Uh, you give us wings day by day and uh, you are a real inspiration and uh, a real mentor for us. Uh, finding purpose in life gives you a sense of movement. Life becomes easier because you know your values. You know what to choose and how to manifest the kids you have been endowed with. Purpose help you focus goals. Purpose goals help you focus on what matters to you. And this is motivating because everyone wants to have an impact in this world. You can have an impact in this world. You can give, you can empower someone. You can empower the new generation. Let us not educate children for today's world. This world will no longer exist when they are, when they will be big, when they will grow. And nothing else as in like their world is going to be like. Then let's teach them to adapt. It's more important. Let's teach them what means, uh, what really means a goal. Uh, let's teach them to be happy, to make the correct choice in life. Thank you for this honor to be moderator today on this event. Uh, our great vice counselor, you are welcome to close this wonderful conference. Congratulations again for your great Thank you very much, my able moderator, our president, IAU Men Entrepreneur Council President. I thank God for your life. You have been a role model to all the women in IAU. And God will come to lift your eye for this great moderation that you just did. I need to also thank our able head of Europe, Dr. Inga. Thank you very much for your excellent uh, 
Speech. Welcome. Presentation. I admire everything you said. May God come my to pleasure. Speak thank and you. Empower you. Yes. I also thank all my excellent speakers, our African team who have been working tirelessly hard. I bless God for you, our able professor. Um, my friend, I thank God for you. May God come to strengthen you. May God come to empower you. Every one of you that has spoken, I thank God for you all. I bless the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for our, our, our able and admirable. Are you um, founder, our visionary founder, Sir P. Bandix, who are giving us this great opportunity to showcase ourselves to the glory of God? And we've all seen how all our powerful speakers spoke concerning setting of goals. Goals are very important to set. Failure to set goals, that means you want to fail in your business, in your group, in your team. That's the more reason. It is very good we set goals. And we have now seen from our powerful speakers. All our audience, I thank God for you listening very well. And we are begging God to give us the grace to put everything into practice. We have concluded this month. By the grace of God, we will be coming out next month. I appreciate our amiable and our visionary uh, educationist uh, founder, huge bandit. I also appreciate our trustee who has been helpful too. I appreciate every team members of our able executive um, IIU. I bless God for you. All the directors, I bless God for you. All the members, African leaders, I thank God for you. Our secretary who is not here today, I thank God for you. Also, Alex, who has been our moderator, I thank God for you. I thank God for every one of you who participated. My sister, our prof, Queen Elizabeth, uh, Lucas, I follow you. I thank God for you. You actually showcased that, yes, you can. And you have showcased also that we can also. May God come to strengthen every one of you. And I know by the grace of God, next month will be better than this. We always pray that our performance will always be better than the current. And God come to strengthen us all. Thank you all our listeners and our supporters. May God come to empower us as we continue to empower other people. Thank you for choosing IIU. IIU remain the best. IIU is the change. IIU bring the change. And IIU is the revolution in the education system. Before I, I say the closing prayer, I want our, our able head of uh, Europe to tell us our forthcoming program. We have powerful programs coming up. And I pray that I will also be at attend, uh, I will also be there. Uh, our head of Europe, Dr. Uh, Inga, tell us about Europe. What is going to happen in our program, our forthcoming program, coming up in uh, April and in July? Tell us something about it. Ah, uh, first time I congratulation all. Really amazing conference. All speaker was amazing. We teach today a lot. Thank you for everything and good luck. We also European, we are ready and we have so many projects. And uh, <clears throat> um, I think uh, I share some also my uh, schedule. Thank you so much. Okay, congratulations. Thank you very much. You have tried. I know we are going to have a very powerful program uh, in April. That is, we are going to honor some people. Some people are going to get the uh, get the awards. We are inviting every one of us, and some people are going to have award. Ah, for Bicap, for Bicap, you tell. For Bicap exactly. Yes. Uh, tell us about it. Tell us about it. Dr. Mina, can you tell us about, uh, about it? Maybe she didn't get what yes. I said. We invite you all in BICAP is the most big project of exchange of knowledge because IIU is the pioneer 
right, our dear Vice Chancellor, I, you, we are the partner in the field of education, then make your baggage, prepare your baggage and come and be ambassador of your country in the biggest project of IIU BICAP. Uh, there we will have so much experience. We will make ex uh, exchange of experience. We will make sportive activities. We will be heroes in um, a project of uh, about climate. Um, maybe we will plant. Uh, we will uh, make trip with the boat. Uh, we'll make archery. I love archery. I think you all love this. Uh, will be the best project we wait you just try and have the courage be brave to come with us be the fight captain with us thank you Sergio. thank you very much we thank god uh, we are going to make it great this one around is going to be a unique one and i pray that god will come to spare our life give us good health of mind and body i bless every one of us before we close i want us to take a group photograph on your camera so that we take a group photograph so that we can remember this unique occasion this great day this powerful day yes uh, thank you all thank you for everything that happened today thank you very much may god come to strengthen us and empower us so that we go about empowering our people through christ our lord thank you very much amen thank you very very much so we can take picture before we close. I did, and the best smiles that I see. Yes. Congratulations, Team Africa. Proud of you. Proud of you, Sir Charles. Proud of you, Dr. Queen Elizabeth. Proud of you, Adelgun, Dr. Ishamel, Professor Ravinder, Inga, um, and the Tatendra, and Alex Kolenji. And, um, I, I think I, I forgot some um, speakers. I am blonde sometimes. Fabulous, you all. Goodbye.